Hey everybody, the bong is back. Let's play Chrono Trigger Part 20. Hey Frog, how you doing? The hero I am not. I can do not. Oh, wait a minute. There's something I forgot to get. Yeah. I remember I gotta get that hero medal from the kid. Might as well ignore everything here. Go pay the Tata a visit. He's not at that house. Good guy, he's at one of these houses. I'm sorry everyone, some frog guy dropped this in a cafe. I thought it'd sell, but then everyone started calling me a hero. I couldn't bear to get rid of it. So he's been exposed. I just can't fake it any longer. I'm no hero. I'm so ashamed. Here, take this. Scoundrel, I knew this was all a sham. How could I have fallen for that? For my dear departed wife's sake, I vow to keep my feet on the ground. <laughs> Listen to you, who are you going around telling everyone you raised a hero, huh? And yeah, his dad just got burned. Apparently he got a little overexcited. I mean, wouldn't you, if your son was a hero? I'd do the exact same thing. The half returned? The, the hero medal? I... Then thou hast seen the lad, yet there's nary a thing I can't do against Magus. A legendary mass immune is required to fight Magus, and I have no right to yield wield it. Please, leave now. Not until I open this treasure chest. Yeah, there's the hilt. A broken sword, a part of the mass immune. Something is written in archaic script, I will translate. R O I H C L E M. Roy Clem. Ah, oh, system error. I reversed it. It says Melquar. Melquar? The guy in Medina Village? What does this mean, mute? That means we're going to Medina Village and you're gonna get laid by me tonight. Oh, wait. The rooms in Medina cost how much? Ah, actually, you're on your own again. Oh man, that's, they're so expensive. That's what I hate. Guess we're just gonna have to go all the way back to Medina Village. Gotta skin that part a little bit. There, kick the fat bunny around. I don't care. It's none of my business. Ah, these enemies again. How I missed you all. How I missed killing you guys with both of these. Oh yeah, I almost forgot when I got in a battle I learned Ice Sword just because I got Spin Cut with Marla around. She can use Ice. I use Spin Cut. Thus, Ice Sword has been born. But of course you would have guessed that. To the end of time! Let's pay Specko a visit, see if he's gotten any stronger. Nope, he's still the same. I was hoping to get another nice gift from him during the battle. But we're gonna have to miss out. To Medina we go. This way. You're back again? Come to see my collection? The, the sword. It's a mass immune. How did you get it? How much your name be on that sword? It's a long story. You do want to hear this story, right? Yes, tell us about the mass immune. Can you fix it somehow? Hmm. It might be possible if we could get our hands on some Dreamstone, which the sword is made of. Dreamstone? No data in my memory banks of such a rock. You can't find it anymore. It was a red stone that was once used as money. Unfortunately, it hasn't been available for a very long time. For a very long time. I think we just got a hint. I think we got a general idea on where we are supposed to go. 
to 65 million BC, babies. We are going far back in time. Back to the time of dinosaurs and cave people. And jungle music. And half human, half dinosaur beasts. Called reptites. They can be a pain in the ass. Like balls, I don't want to use this bill. Sadly, reptites have very thick skins. The only way you're gonna hurt them is with magic. They're not used to that. So hopefully the laser spin should do the trick. So I don't have any other techs that can attack more than one person. Ooh, laser spin is really effective. Yeah, there we go. I'm keeping you in the party, Rob. What should we do, Mute? Um, just stand there and wait for this lesbian to kick your asses? Goodness, she is tough. Her fighting capabilities far exceed those of humans. Oh, they're coming our way. That's okay. Let's laser spin them out. Whoops. Fast forward! And they are dead. Oh, we just learned Robo Tackle and Ice Tackle, too. What do you want? Do not upset her, she's rather agitated right now. It's like she hasn't had sex in like five minutes. Eh! Mute! What the hell? You strong! What name? Mute, huh? Good name. Me. Me? Now, I could just call her Ayla, or Isla as I like to be pronounced, but since she's a cave person, we're gonna call her Ugga. Uh, I think we should use two G's. Oh, uh, me, Ugga. Ugga likes strong people, so Ugga like Mute. Get away from her, Mute. I'm jealous. You're strong too. Ugga respects strong people, men and women. Oh, brother. This is a funny part right here. You, you different, but strong too. It's because I'm a robot. Rob, boot? What that? Ugga, don't know. There's a machine that looks like a man. What'd you say? No rubbish or Ugga head go boom. Mute, where from? Uh, how can we explain? It is beyond her grasp. We're for many days ahead of tomorrow. Ah uh ha -huh. you funny. I got like funny people. Come to village, we talk and eat. That's eat fun. Thank you, but we can't. We're looking for our dream stone. Stone? Plenty stones. Here, there, at village. You take plenty. You to come. Ioka village, this way. Guess we're just gonna have to follow her. Oh well, if you just let her go on ahead, you get a little cutscene we gotta race her. But you can't win because there are enemies. So let's just take these out. Runners and Kiwalas. A very unique combination. I can slash three at once. But can I kill him? No, I cannot. Not in that one hit. Let's see what laser spin can do. I take all the reptites, but we'll do against these. Now, it doesn't do much against Kiwalas, but it'll do a lot on these runners. Runners have very high physical defense, and Kiwalas have pretty high magical defense. So that's what you need to remember. Use physical attacks on Kiwalas and magic attacks on runners. That's basically all you gotta do. That's a little theory that's easy to grasp. Eventually you'll kill them. There we go. We should get a lot of tech points and experience for this. Hey, we just learned Cure! Way to go! Whoops. Almost ran into a battle. And here we are at Yoka Village. Nice cave place. Let's not talk to these people. Apparently there's a little hut there where we can actually trade some items to get better equipment. 
items that you get in the hunting range just north of here. Okay, and apparently I don't have enough stuff. Like, you know those pe petals, those horns, fangs, and... What's the other one again? Petal, horn, fang... I think it's claw? I could be wrong, but I'm not sure. But either way, let's stop the video right here, but I'll see you along in the next part. I'll see you later, guys.